Man, all this project paperwork is disorganized. I wish I had a better way to manage this. Let's talk about that. Hey everybody, Ben with Magic Plan here. And as you might have guessed, today we're talking about file management. Do your documents for your project look something like this? We don't need physical copies anymore. Now you can manage all of your documents for a project from directly within Magic Plan. So what are we going to talk about today? First and foremost, our new file management section. What is it? What role does it serve in your projects? Secondly, we'll go back to the basics and we'll review generating files at Magic Plan. From there, we'll start diving into new features. The first one being uploading documents into Magic Plan. You heard me right. Previously, we could not support this, and now we do. Whether you're uploading a digital copy of a file you already have, or scanning and making a digital copy of a physical document that you have, we now support both of these actions in Magic Plan. And last but not least, something I'm really excited about is our content editor and our annotation features for PDFs in Magic Plan. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So I'm on the project details page of a project in Magic Plan. If I scroll down, you'll see files. Now, how do you think about the files section of Magic Plan? It is simply the one-stop shop for all of your documents pertaining to a project, right? This is your storage device for everything pertaining to this project, whether it's an invoice or a contract that you have, something that you've uploaded in the Magic Plan, or it's just the report PDF that you already know and love that Magic Plan created for you. All of those will exist right here in the file section. So let's go back to our basics real quick. How do you create a file in Magic Plan? Very similar to what you already know and love. Click in the top right here and within the floor plan section and it'll pull up files and sharing. I can just click on statistics, for instance, and it will generate a file for me. This is the same thing that you already know. It functions the same way. The UI just looks a little bit different. So once this is done generating the file, it'll open up a preview for you automatically, like it just did here. I'm going to go ahead and back out and show you where this file actually lives now. One quick disclaimer, the photo section also has photo reports, similar to the floor plan having floor plan reports. These are all created the same way within the UI, but they all will end up here within the file section. So you see here I have floor plan files that pertains to my floor plan and I have photo files that obviously pertains to my photos. So a couple cool things to highlight here. We now, have, we now have filter options. So you can see I can select PDF here and I'll be able to see that new statistics report that I just created. But you can also import and upload files now into Magic Plan. So we've generated a file in Magic Plan. Now let's jump into some of the new features. You'll see this banner at the top saying that you can upload a file. Let's say I already have a digital copy saved right here on this iPad. I can just click right there, select the two documents that I want, open, and just like that, they're imported into Magic Plan. What's really cool about this, since we're gonna be jumping into annotations here shortly, is I can jump into this, click on this little squiggly line in the top right, and this is actually an interactive PDF. This is fairly common in PDFs nowadays, and I can tap on this and actually start filling it out. Maybe I'm on the commute to or from a job site sitting in the passenger seat. I wanna go ahead and fill out some of the documentation. No problem at all. That's just a quick little foreshadowing to our annotations that is coming up here shortly. So let's go ahead and cancel saving that. Let's say I have a physical copy of a document and I need to create a digital copy to upload in the Magic Plan. We got you covered. Click on scan document, hold this up over your document. It'll highlight it and it takes the picture for me. I can take a quick preview of this document here. If you wanna do any edits to it after the fact, maybe you wanna trim off some of the table. That's no problem for me though. So I'll just go ahead and click done, save, and you'll see that I have a scanned PDF in my imported files. I'll quickly rename this to example, oh, example scan. And just like that, I've scanned and uploaded a file into Magic Plan. Now let's move on to annotations. We've gotten a lot of feedback about wanting to annotate and 
edit the content of the PDFs generated by Magic Plan or PDFs that you've uploaded into Magic Plan. So let me show you what we've done. I'll go here to my floor plan files and I'll click on the sketch PDF. And I'll click on that same squiggly line. And now I have a lot of options here at the bottom for annotations that are now supported directly on your PDF. No longer do you need a PDF editor. You can do this directly within Magic Plan. Similar to our video that we did on photos, you now practically have a PDF editor directly within Magic Plan. I'll click text box here. Let's say Magic Plan rocks. And let's move that precisely where I want it. Let's say I really want to highlight this reader right here on the floor plan. I use the marker tool. Click save. Now I've added a drawing around that reader. And let's do an arrow just to be safe, really emphasizing how important this reader is. And the last annotation feature that I want to go over today is the adding photos directly from your photo reel or your camera. I'll select camera here, and snap a picture of this water bottle. And I just tap where I want on the PDF this photo to live resize it and just like that I've added a photo directly to my PDF. Now there's a lot of annotation options here. That's not all of them. Those are just some of the ones that I really like and I wanted to show off here today. But check these out next time you get a chance. Upload a PDF or create a PDF within Magic Plan and go to the annotation and try them all out. We have a lot of options there to make your PDFs look exactly how you want them to look. Once I'm done, I click save and I give it a new name. Let's call this edited sketch report. That way you have the original copy plus the edited copy. And now we'll jump into editing the content of these PDFs. This is going to be deleting specific pages, deleting specific assets within the report and rearranging it in a fashion that makes sense for your business. So for editing the content of a PDF, I'm actually going to use our report PDF click right here. And for those of you familiar with the differences of our sketch and our report PDF, this is a little bit more comprehensive and has a lot of information on it, making it a good example for what I'm about to do. So first and foremost, I'll click that annotation icon in the top right. And I'll click here in the top left, and this will take us to the document editor overview. I can click on a page. And I can rearrange the order. I can go directly to that page if I want just by tapping on it. And a really cool feature, we've heard this a lot, people say, hey, I want 90% of your report PDF, but there's some pages that I just don't need. No problem. You can do a multi-select here and just delete the pages that you don't want. Click done. Those pages have been removed just like that. Now, another really cool feature that I like is if you click here where it says annotation, I can go to content editor. Let's say you don't want this Google map image. Tap on it, delete. You don't need the address anymore, delete. Maybe you had a typo in the name of the project. There was supposed to be a five here, no problem. You want your logo to be a little bit bigger. You wanna move it a little bit. You can now fully customize these PDFs. Like I said earlier, this is like a full-fledged PDF editor directly in Magic Plan. Our goal is to allow you to create exactly the PDFs and exports that you want for your business. I'll click save, and just like before, I'll give this a name, edited PDF2, because we always like to keep an unedited version and the edited version so that you can always go back to the original if you need to make some more edits. Click done, and just like that, I've covered our new file manager. We really hope that you liked this video and found something useful from the content here today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content in the future. Until then, have a great day.